In this section, we will create three more custom modules. We are going to create a custom module to store all the information about our product content type, create a custom module to store all the information about the aquifer content type, and create a custom module to store all the information about a water eco action content type. In this video, we are going to look at exporting our site configuration, gathering the necessary data from the configuration, and creating our custom module. We have already defined everything we want to store for our product content type. We just need to export that information. Navigate through Manage, Configuration, Configuration Synchronization, and click the Export tab. Click the Export button to export the full archive and save the file. Extract the contents of the compressed file. When we look at the contents of the file, we see that there are a lot of YAML files, which makes it cumbersome to work from the graphical file manager. We are going to use the terminal and the command line to make things easier. Since we were careful to use the word product in all of our configuration, we can search for all the YAML files that have the word product in them. Create the IAI underscore product directory inside of the modules custom directory. Switch to the IAI product directory and create the config optional directory. We are using config optional instead of config install because we want the flexibility that the config optional directory provides us. When we install a module that defines configuration in the config optional directory, Drupal will define the pieces that have not already been defined on the site. If we used the config install directory, we would get an error when Drupal tries to define pieces that already exist. One important point to note is that another side effect of the config optional directory is that Drupal will still install whatever it can with our module, even if there are dependencies that are missing. Whereas if we used config install, we would receive an error message if we were missing any dependencies. By carefully choosing how we named things, as we have done with the product content type and the rest of its configuration, we should be fine using either approach. Copy all of the necessary YAML files from the configuration by using a wildcard pattern. Let's take a look at what we've got in our config optional directory now. You may be surprised by some of the configuration we have captured. We don't want the block configuration and will delete it. We've got two base field overrides that reflect the choices we made for the promoted to front page option and the label we use to describe the title field. The form display file specifies how the data entry screen appears. The two view display files specify how the product will be displayed to users in the default and teaser view modes. Next, we have a large number of files that specify our fields and how they are stored. The storage definitions are particularly important. Without those definitions, our product content type would not be created properly. We see our two image style presets, and the node type file holds the configuration for some choices we made when editing our content type. We've even got a configuration file for the path alias we defined. The four taxonomy files define the four vocabularies we have created. However, Drupal does not create configuration files for the terms, as these are considered content. We would have to repopulate the vocabularies ourselves. We won't save the tour file here. It's already part of another module. The last files are the definitions of the views we created. Now you should have a strong appreciation for why we chose to include the product slug in all of our machine names. We've got a small amount of cleanup to do with these configuration files. When we examine each file, we will see that there is a unique universal ID assigned at the top of the file that we need to remove. Make sure to go through all of the configuration files and remove that first line. Let's pull all of this together by creating our IAI underscore product dot INFO dot YML file. 
we'll start out by completing all the required keys as well as the optional package key. Next, we will add the dependencies, which we can find by examining the YAML files in our configuration directory and looking for their module dependencies. We can now navigate through Manage, Extend, and select our module to enable, 